Welcome to this week's episode. We are going to remove uh, some plaster in Elias's room and then I also purchased a used dust collector um, to help us along with cleaning up um, all the plaster dust and then also um, all the insulation, the cellulose insulation that was in the walls. Um, get that all sucked out before we can use the spray foam. Unfortunately, I'm alone again this week. It's just not easy for Julie to come by every week, especially with Elias being one and a half years old. So stealing yourself away from him for a extended period of time is just not always easy. So the big thing that surprised me, as we have been taking plaster off in all the other rooms, there has been sporadically in walls some kind of insulation. In this room, as you can tell on the exterior walls, there was no insulation at all. I'm glad that we opened the walls so we could actually see that and remedy that, otherwise um, this room would always be extremely warm in the summer and cold in the winter. in this room that we have found was the water damage um, that we would not have seen if we didn't take the plaster off uh, around the chimney here there was a lot of water damage um, well and there is still water damage on the joists so we will definitely have to do some repair here in this corner Just like the last uh, couple weeks, we have been making a big mess here. We have been take, uh, keep taking plaster off. Um, unfortunately, next couple videos are probably going to be about the same. Uh, we'll have more plaster to remove and uh, before we can actually start putting the house back together. 
Um, the reason why we're doing it all at once is it makes it much easier to just bring it to the landfill in one or two weeks um, all at once instead of um, every week doing a little load. a really good deal for a dust collector online um, during the week. We will be using this dust collector for um, at the beginning to get the cellular insulation sucked up and also control some of the dust in the entire house, especially with all the plaster getting removed. Later on, I will probably set it up in the basement in my wood shop. wondering how uh, dust collection actually works um, <clears throat> it's actually pretty simple it's just like a big uh, vacuum cleaner uh, basically the blower here has a motor on it it sucks in all the air um, through tubes here you can see there's actually uh, two connections uh, so, so it sucks it in it goes all through and then it circulates here in a barrel which means uh, the gravitational forces We'll push it and the centrifugal forces will actually put it, push it to the outside which make it drop um, to the bottom of the bag and the rest of the air as it gets pushed into here is going to get filtered through this bag. Um, I'll just turn it on for a second and show basically how it works. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything you guys want to know more about this house, um, just comment, let us know, and we will try to cover the topics.